Good day, everybody. It is currently the 7th going to the 8th of October 2012. And Rob here with today's newest tropical storm update, Paraparoon, just towards the west of uh, the Marianas Islands. Also across the western Pacific today for your holiday weekend in Japan and over towards China. And actually, it's Golden Week. Uh, looks like some fair weather across much of this area as high pressure continues to set in from the north. That northeast monsoon really starting to bring its toll off here across much of uh, eastern Asia. Temperatures actually dropping down to right around average across Tokyo here. I'm getting into about the low teens last night. A little bit chilly out across much of that region. But also the remnants of Kami off there towards the west moving in towards Vietnam. Now this storm system is nothing but its remnants of its for the former self. But it still is bringing some heavy rain showers across portions of Cambodia and over towards Thailand as well. And not to mention the intertropical convergence zone continuing to linger out across much of the South China Sea and over towards the Philippines and a lot of the Pacific Islands out here. That's really a big topics here for today, but let's look into a little bit closer on Tropical Storm Paraparoon moving off there towards the west. Now one thing about this storm system, it is in a very weak steering flow environment, but it is continuing to intensify. Sea surface temperatures are relatively warm, upwards of about 30 degrees in this area, but also look at this, a little bit of drier inflow coming in from the north. It is in some a vertical wind shear, as we can see here on the vertical wind shear chart. And that's going to inhibit it some rapid intensification out of the storm system, upwards of about 30 to 40 knots there out of the northern periphery, and even down there towards the south, uh, about 30 to 40 knots as well, right around the center of circulation, oh, about 10 to 15. That is allowing the storm system to continue to intensify. But sea surface temperatures, once again, let's scroll down here and take a look at the chart from Weather Underground, showing upwards of about 30 degrees and across much of the Philippine Sea. So what that is indicating is a lot of energy for this storm system to continue to develop. Unlike the Atlantic, sea surface temperatures start to cool down about this time of year well out here in the western Pacific. It still remain rather hot, and that is why the Philippine uh, rainy season is definitely still in force across much of this area. So with that said, this is a look at the model outlook on where this storm system possibly could be going. This is just GFS showing it drifting off there slowly towards the west just basically lingering just towards the east of Luzon and that is going to be a problem because if it does take this track continuing to intensify seems like a broken record this year with storm systems lingering in this area well it's going to be bringing that monsoonal flow across the Philippines bringing some very heavy rain showers with it flooding is going to be high for us and also landslides as we've seen in the past that really does bring some widespread devastation out towards the Philippines despite the fact that these storm systems this year really haven't been making land as much as in normal years but now let's take a look at the overall streamline analysis and what we can say is that there is a high pressure ridge off southeastern China extending over Okinawa and off there towards the east. This is going to keep the storm system a little bit down there towards the south really as it continues to linger across uh, portions of the Philippine Sea might move down and retrograde towards the southwest but then I really do think it's just going to linger here before pulling back off towards the northeast and that is really in the same alignment as what JMA is currently showing on this tropical storm and at this time they have proper room moving off there towards the west maintaining tropical storm to severe tropical storm intensity over the next 72 hours but basically lingering out here in the Philippine Sea over the next five days so basically going throughout the entire week in a Thursday and Friday just still lingering in this area now one thing that I do want to note is that with storm systems any lack of steering flow or very slow movement it very well could linger it could even move down there towards the southwest a little bit closer to the Philippines but I think all in all it eventually will recurve back off there towards the northeast by the end of the work week this is just their outlook though and definitely going to continue to watch the storm system. Pagasa is still not warning on it, and neither is the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. So, uh, JMA is still the first one to put out an official warning on Tropical Storm Properoon. Otherwise, though, things are remaining calm across the Western Pacific. Once again, that large high pressure ranging in across portions of China, Korea, and Japan. And that clockwise motion is pushing those winds down from the north, cooling off temperatures in this area. You can see over here towards central China, only 7 degrees are in the high rate in there. And also over towards Japan, well, it does look like the high is getting up into the mid-20s, but the lows are diving down into the low teens. Outside of that, though, we uh, also still have that intertropical convergence zone, but that is really unfortunate, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment box below. And as always, we appreciate your feedback. If you want to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, please do so at Western Pacific Weather. Also, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Robert Spetta. Always appreciate that. And uh, as always, though, stay safe out there. Have a great day.